This Ankita Ridge Pinot Noir is so delicious. And as I paired foods with it, one of the things that I loved with it was turkey. And Christine had mentioned Thanksgiving, which was what got me started on that path. So I'm going to make not a turkey for you, but a side dish for turkey that you can use as a stuffing for turkey or for pork. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a little bit of oil in my pan and I'm gonna to add to that one medium chopped onion. Just a nice coarse chop. I wanna add a little bit of celery, oh, about two ribs. And this is optional. You don't have to put the celery in if you don't want to, but I liked it with the celery. And then I'm gonna add some butternut squash that I've chopped. Now I say you can use this as a side dish or as a stuffing because I tried it both ways. First of all, I used it as a stuffing on a turkey breast. I used it as a stuffing on a pork loin that worked just beautifully. And then I thought, well, turkey for Thanksgiving holidays. And um, I love smoked turkey. So we have smoked turkey today and I'm going to use this as a stuffing side. You'll see what I mean. So I just want to saute these until they start to get softened. All right, about midway through this process, I added a couple of tablespoons of Chardonnay just because I wanted a little moisture to start sort of steaming these vegetables. Now, I want to add a little bit of garlic. You notice I don't want to put that in too early because garlic has a tendency to burn and I just want to make sure that does not burn because it would really destroy the flavor of this wonderful dish. All right, so I've got that in. And now I want to add a little bit of dried cranberries. This just gives it a really wonderful color and a great flavor. It sweetens it up a little bit. And don't feel like you have to use cranberries. You can actually use some apricots. You can use figs. I happen to have some figs on hand, so I'm gonna just chop up a couple figs. So these are just tiny little dried figs, and I like to take the stems out on those because they are kind of tough. And I'm just gonna slice this. You know, any kind of dried fruit like this really adds a different dimension to a vegetable. All right, I've got three figs in there, that's plenty. Let's just stir that through again. And then I want to add a little bit of poultry seasoning. This will tie it all together. It pulls that, that turkey need for the little bit of sage into this wonderful dish. Now, just a little bit of poultry seasoning. You can use sage if you want, but I really like the poultry seasoning because it's a wider balance of flavor. And then a little salt and pepper. Now let's give that a good stir. And last but not least, we are going to throw in a little bit of baby spinach. And I just ran my knife through this a little bit. I didn't go to the trouble of chiffonade or anything like that. It's just a, just a chop, just a large chop. And we'll add that for some wonderful green color, just until it wilts. Okay, as soon as this is wilted, we're gonna head over to that turkey and you're gonna have a wonderful, wonderful dish to make the next time you have turkey or pork. Oh, this looks wonderful. And I wanna finish it with just a few pomegranate seeds because I had them and I just thought how beautiful they would be just topping off that little bit, giving the pop, even with the cranberries, those pomegranates just add a little extra. So you can see what I was talking about, sort of a stuffing side. Now, this beautiful Ankita Ridge Pinot Noir. I don't think anyone knew 
that Virginia could produce such an amazing Pinot Noir as this. Mm. It has that great hint of cranberry, that wonderful richness that Pinot Noir gives you. So the next time you enjoy a turkey or a roast pork loin, I hope you'll enjoy this as either a stuffing or a side. <laughs>